common birch in the central and southern Appalachians at moderate to low elevation. Sweet birch, Betula lenta, and the Betulaceae. It has a lot of features that are similar to yellow birch, except uh, the bark is very dark in comparison, which I'll show you in just a minute. But first, the leaves. The leaves are similar to yellow birch, but they tend to be narrower. The stems are glabrous, not pubescent like the yellow birch. And the fruit is in a strobilus, just like yellow birch, but the strobilus is much more narrow than on yellow birch. It's a smaller strobilus. The leaves on sweet birch are alternate in arrangement on the new shoots and are typically in twos on the spur shoots. They turn a beautiful golden in the fall. This is a fairly good sized tree. It's also a very important timber species. Sweet birch refers to the very nice odor when you scratch the stems or cut into the bark and the flavoring from the tree has actually been used for birch beer. With age, the bark becomes very dark and scaly, resembling cherry. It's also called the cherry bark birch. This tree will get to about three feet in diameter and about 80 to 100 feet tall. It does have excellent timber value as well. Betula lenta, the sweet birch.